Hi there and welcome to Bested Investments. So you're a bit low on cash and you want to start making money. While you have nothing to do, browse through Facebook Marketplace or your local listings and look for furniture. Flipping furniture is one of the easiest things out there. Something I would have to look like is something like sofas, small tables. I would stay away from leather or synthetic leather because it can get damaged or it's flimsy or something like that. Even old carpets, just be aware of that it can have a smell to it. Also check the feet. That's the thing with the coffee tables and so on. Always look for stability. Same with your sofas, beds and tables. Like in the picture example here, you can see the white sofa. If it has a stain on it, see if you can get it out, get it cleaned up nice. Get it at a decent price. People are always in cash urgency. You can make them an offer the same they would get from a pawn store. And that pawn store would resell it for more. So you can purchase it outright from them and pick it up there if it's available or you have transport that would help a lot. So they don't have to take it to the pawn store to sell it there. You come to them, pay them the cash and take it out of the house. Then they can either upgrade it or they can use the money if they have an emergency. So this is a good example. Next, flipping phones is also an excellent idea especially apple products they have long lives even the iphone 6s has a 4k camera on it that is four years back technology and it's already 4k there's a lot of people making videos cinematic photographing taking pictures with an iphone s 6 just watch your local pricing, see what you can offer, and there's a few things you have to look out for. Check the battery, check if it's charging, look if you can see if the phone is still on contract. I will make a video with a link in the description to check all those things. Before you buy a phone or a tablet, make sure it's not on a contract, make sure it's not stolen, and how to test it. See the battery, see if it's charging, Furniture is safer if you're just starting out and you're not a digital guy or you're a techie. You're more to solid stuff, a piece of furniture. You can physically feel it, see it, check the feet and see if the stains on it is removable. So for example, that table and chair, that table, the top, is very sensitive. So if that has a scratch on it, you're going to have to cover the whole top with a new laminated. That's a lot of work. But that chair over there, if it's flimsy, you can just tighten it up or put in new screws on it. And if it has a scratch or two, you can just stain it. Slightly rub it with some sanding paper, stain it a new color. If you pick it up for a bargain, you can sell it for twice as much. Back to phones. Flipping phones that have internal problems. Some people just want to get rid of a phone for the reason it's not charging, the battery is not lasting, or there's a password block on it, or the iCloud doesn't work. You must be very, very careful with that. I'll have a nice video in the description with a link to how to check a phone decently before you buy it. Please guys, don't spend your hard earned cash on a phone rather do the furniture first and when you have a bit of a cash flow check my video out and see how to look for that and then go into the phone business apple products have extremely well resale values even the watches themselves also sell very easy and there's always someone that is in need of a phone a upgrade and someone that has upgraded and wants to sell their own phone just to get rid of it and get some cash. Always have cash, never offer an EFT, because when you have cash in your hand, you can get it at a much lower price. You can negotiate. I'm gonna have a link in the description to basic negotiation skills, because we wanna make money. We don't wanna pay a top price 
and have a small margin. We want to pay the customer fair. We don't want to like crook them, but we want to make money. And you're going to spend a little bit of money on each of the things you're buying and maybe just replacing a charging port on a phone or something similar or just a battery so you can sell a decent product again you want to have a reputation to selling decent products not just cheap stuff just like you bought it because the profit is in there if you sell a decent thing but it doesn't cost you a lot of money now that is an example i would like you to see let's say you just bought that one long couch over there and this is your house if you're gonna sell that couch or these two seats here or the table what you have bought put it in your house put some decent lighting on and take the picture in your home not on the side step or on the grass or outside of your house put it in a living room if it's a sofa or a coffee table and say for sale with a price now the customer can see how that product or how that chair or how that table oh, check how it looks it looks excellent in a furnished room or in a kitchen if you buy a kitchen stuff or if you buy living room stuff they can see how it looks in a living room and that would make it 10 times easier for them to decide to buy it just look at it that's how it will look in our house or even better we have better colors or yeah that we can make something like this so that is my opinion on selling a product where i see a lot of people just taking a picture with their phone where the sofas outside just where they washed it and then you're not going to get premium prices on it next up everyone wants to upgrade a phone like i said iphones always everyone is always on their phone looking for the newest stuff, the newest apps, the newest photos, the highest quality. So when you're buying a phone, watch out for memory space. Don't buy a phone that has 16 or 32 gigs. Someone wants to purchase a phone where they can have more space on it because that's generally the problem with cell phones. They run out of space. You have a lot of videos of your children or your family and you don't want to delete them. You don't want to move them over to a stick or a phone transfer to a hard drive or something you want to keep it on your phone to share it so look for phones i would say at least 32 gigs preferably 64 and upwards if you're going to buy a second hand phone to resell because that's going to be an excellent selling point 4k video or at least 1080p 64 gig uh, storage internal and the ability to take a SD card to expand that as well. You can even do a nice deal where you can buy an extra memory card, for let's say a 64 gig, and say the phone has 64 gig onboard memory and another 64 gig memory card. Brand new, you can pick them up for almost nothing on eBay, Amazon, and in some local stores. That would make the deal much more appealing and that upgrades the phone's memory and the moment they see it they see a 128 gig phone that's gonna solve all my problems so let's go over that is something you have to check out that's a good example of a table and chairs those chairs are gonna be difficult to fix if they have flimsy feet but the table on the other hand if it's a bit flimsy just tighten screws so look at something when you're busy with the customer or the owner of the product tell them listen check this table is loose i'm gonna have to put in new screws or i'm gonna have to sand it or i'm gonna have to paint the feet and negotiate for a better price due to the reason there are some problems spot a problem you're not there to cheat the owner but you are there to make extra money like a table easy to fix those specific chairs are not going to be easy to fix due to the fact it's around poles going into material there is some kind of joint there that they did before they covered them or if it has an internal screw from the back then it's fine just check them out so you can make sure you can tighten them up and make sure you can make them nice and firm also look out for some colors that can have a stain on it and you cannot get it out 
and then it's gonna look terrible and you bought a lot of money for it and to get something and flip it flipping it is buying and selling it in two or three days time and if you're gonna have to send it in to be covered with new material that's expensive I would not recommend doing that it's going way too far for flipping restoration I'm gonna talk about now so that's a perfect example if you bought those two chairs they are extremely ugly but put it in that situation in your home and they look like they have to be there they fit they look nice let's say you bought that small table there uh, outside on the grass taking a picture it's an ugly table but in that scenario it looks quite good I would pay some decent money for it let's say $50 and you picked it up for 15 and you just cleaned it or you really sanded it or you just sprayed a bit of clear lacquer over it and it looks super cool the same with the chairs you could have just cleaned them up nicely put new rubber feet on the bottom so they are not wiggly and it looks professional and clean them the wooden handles at the top you can take those off sand them and give them some clear lacquer and bring new life to them even this uh, pillows on them you don't have to include the pillows you're gonna sell the chair and put the pillow on it just to give the photo some looks and build up that picture to make it look really good next restoration that's something completely different you're gonna buy a table like this put an image or a, a boat like that on it for a picture so you bought an old table that you can see restoration potential this is going to take you a bit longer because you're going to have to slightly stain it you, you are going to have to work a bit harder but you're going to get much more for it so have an eye out there for all the stuff that has one or two scratches or dents that you can fix with a wood filler some slight painting sanding it slightly staining it see potential in old stuff that you can pick up for very cheap do a minimal bit of labor or get someone to help you to do the labor get a decent picture like this you don't even see the whole table but this table will sell in this scenario with this on it and it looks excellent with a blurry background or just a normal background if you don't have a fancy do a picture with your phone it's more than enough then back to the phones again what devices to buy Samsung Apple there are a lot of them. What I've seen, people love to buy secondhand Apple products. The most popular reason for that is I've seen Apple products, they don't go old. It's like four years back, technology phones are still selling at a decent price. A Samsung or a Huawei that's four years old doesn't have any value left. But a four year old iPhone still has some value or some profit for you to make in it. So that's the route I would go. I would go for phones, not tablets. Tablets are slightly dying down because the phones are getting bigger. So you don't need that tablet. The screen on a phone is excellent and the quality as well. And something else you have to look out for. Test the audio plug and the charger port see if it's not flimsy that is two stuff that can cost you a lot of money to repair if you buy a phone and all the steps are correct except for those two charging ports on iPhones or even Samsung's are very very expensive also test the fingerprint unlock feature if the fingerprint is still in the owner's hands or in his fingerprint let him unlock it and remove that fingerprint and all passwords keys um, locked keys to unlock it after you have set it off and repowered it on that there is no passwords to make sure you are selling a clean phone that doesn't have a pop-up that needs a fingerprint scan and it doesn't work now this business you can run from home you can actually go out pick up some stuff put it on Facebook and say I purchased second hand phones or sofas or 
say outright beds maybe you want to specialize in beds because everyone wants a new orthopedic bed but watch out for beds because they're usually they're gonna have a smell to them or a stain or the mattress is dying down or the base is soft and something like this is it's freedom you do your own boss you can work your own hours you can post it on your ebay listings you can do some facebook marketplace you can create a page on facebook and share it in your local towns group there are hundreds of buy and sell groups all over in close areas to you take the picture share it there give it a price give your contact number there if you want to add a little bit and put there negotiable and you know you can go down a bit because people always want to I'm going to offer him this. And then you say, ah, oh, okay, it's fine. But actually, that's what you're looking for. So always have that in mind. Okay, next. How can you flip them? Do you need a PC? No, you only need a phone to flip things. You have to take a picture with your cell phone, put it on in social media, and you're done. You don't need a PC. Don't let a laptop or a computer stop you from making money. You only need your phone to take pictures, to buy stuff, to be phoned, and to get hold of them. That is it. Flipping phones, you can make a lot of money. Flipping furniture, even more, but easier. Furniture is easier to check for stability. They are easier to see because you can physically feel them. Phones have internal hardware where you can't strip a phone on location and check everything. You, even me, I have flipped some phones and I have had some comebacks where people have asked their money back. But with flipping furniture, no one has asked their money back because I checked all the screws. I had to clean decently. I even cleaned them myself to get down the cost. I rented a cleaning machine from a local cleaning company. I cleaned it nicely, let it dry, put it in my home location, put on a light or two, took the picture, and it was about two days, and I got, <sighs> that's a bit scary, 100% profit. Now you're going to think, oh, Michael, 100%. Remember, the previous guy was upgrading, so he wanted to get rid of it. He didn't have a vehicle to take it to the pawn shop. He didn't want to do effort to clean it, to sell it. So I was the perfect guy and I offered him what he was happy with at the moment. So you can be your own boss in any location. You can even go to a cafe, start on their free Wi-Fi, drink a cup of coffee and post your listings. I hope you learned something here from Best Best Investments on flipping phones and flipping furniture. Like I said, Please just watch out for the phones. There are some slight issues. Phones are a bit more risky. Um, the smartwatches as well. Battery life on some of them have gone down and that's the reason they're selling them. But furniture, it's like solid. You can test it, you can feel it. And with that, you can negotiate. If you see a small problem, you can fix it. You can tell the guy, listen, I'm gonna have to spend time here or I'm gonna have to get new screws and you can get the price down. I hope you liked the video, enjoy the rest of your day, see the link in the description to check a phone and watch me as I show you on a sofa what to check for and some chairs as well. I'm going to put a short video up there also in the link in the description so you can see what to look for in furniture. I would, st I would personally stay away from beds because they're big and they can sometimes it's a bit personal i don't want to buy someone else's bed but i'm comfortable with buying a nice sofa if i only have two camping chairs at the moment and i'm a bachelor and i can buy a nice sofa for my bachelor bed so that's my signing off oh and hit the bell and the subscribe button the bell notification is there to see the latest videos i upload and if you subscribe it's completely free Hit the like button, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I hope you have a nice day. See ya!